This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. There are three squares here. This one with the four, this one with the question mark, and the large one that contains everything. What's the missing area? If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, let's focus on the square with the question mark. Typically for a square, we say the area is equal to the side length squared. I think it's gonna be kind of tricky to find these side lengths. There is an alternative formula we can use. Every square is a rhombus, so we can use the area of a rhombus. And a typical formula for the area of a rhombus is one half diagonal one times diagonal two. And I think it's gonna be a lot easier to work with the diagonals of this square as opposed to the side lengths. First, let's focus on the circle containing the square and let's draw the radius. And then let's draw another radius, another radius, and another radius. And now we can express the area of this square in terms of the radius of this circle. The question mark area will equal one half. This diagonal is two R and this diagonal is two R. So the area we wanna solve for is one half two R times two R. And we can clean this up a little bit. This one half and this two will cancel each other out. We can smush everything together and this R times this R is R squared. And now we have something to try to solve for. The area of the question mark is equal to two R squared. This is important, let's highlight it yellow. Now let's bring back the rest of the diagram. Let's call the side length of the larger square S, and that's also gonna be the radius of this quarter circle. So this green radius of the quarter circle will also be equal to S. And let's try to tie the S into the R. This portion we'll deal with in a second. This portion here is also a radius of the little circle. Let's clean these two up and let's color this red and let's label it R. So this is a radius of the smaller circle as well. And this remaining green portion, it's a diagonal of this square down here. So the diagonal of any square is equal to the side length times the square root of two. So this diagonal is gonna be equal to R square root of two. And I can't see that very well. There we go. This green diagonal is equal to this side length times square root of two, R root two. And now we have a way to tie R into S. Let's get rid of everything but this. Let's clean these up. Let's rotate the R. And this whole thing is the radius of the quarter circle, which is equal to S. So now we have an equation we can write. This S is equal to the R root two plus R. And then from here, each of these terms contains an R. So let's factor out that R. R times what gives us R squared of two? That's square root of two. And then we're gonna add to that R times what gives us R? Well, that's one. So now we factored the R out of this. And I don't think there's anything else we can do right now. Let's put a box around it. And now I'm realizing we hadn't even done anything with the four yet. Let's mess around with this. Let's make this whole thing black and call this S. And then let's extend this to be the entire diagonal of this square. So this is gonna be very similar to what we just did before. This square is equal to four, which means the side lengths are equal to two. And that means the diagonal is gonna be equal to two root two. And that's because of these notes right here. And then last, the whole thing is the diagonal of the larger square. So it's gonna be equal to this side length times square root of two, or in other words, S root two. And now we can set this whole thing, which is S root two, equal to two root two plus S. And now we have a single equation in terms of the variable S, so we can solve for S. Let's get all the S's to the same side of the equation. We can do that by subtracting S from both sides. On the left-hand side, it'll be S root two minus S. And on the right-hand side, this positive S and negative S will cancel each other out. Now on the left-hand side, each of these terms contains an S. Let's factor out that S. S times what is S root two? That's square root of two. And then S times what is negative S? That's negative one. So this is the same thing as this. And that's still gonna be equal to two square root of two. Next to get this S all by itself, let's divide both sides by root two minus one. On the left-hand side, since these binomials match, they're gonna cancel each other out. And we've now solved for S. S is equal to two root two over root two minus one. This looks important, let's put a box around it. And now I think we have everything we need. We know what S is so we can figure out R, and then once we figure out R, we can figure out the area of the question mark. And that's the answer to our question. Let's copy this down here. Earlier we found out that S was equal to R times square root of two plus one. So let's substitute this in for this S. And now we can solve for R. In order to get the R all by itself, let's divide both sides by square root of two plus one. On the left-hand side, this and this will cancel each other out. 
And on the right hand side, we're left with all of this. Now on bottom, this is a difference of two squares. Check out these notes right here. It says anytime you have a minus b times a plus b, you can rewrite that as a squared minus b squared. So with the square root of two minus one times square root of two plus one, we can rewrite that as square root of two squared minus one squared. And then we can copy down everything else. And now let's clean up this denominator. This square root and this square will cancel each other out. And one squared is equal to one. And then two minus one is equal to one. And divided by one doesn't do anything, so r is equal to two times the square root of two. And it took me all of this work to find r. I wonder if there was an easier way. But now that we have r, we're ready to plug it into this area formula. In the place of the r, let's plug in two root two. So now we have two times two root two squared. That's a lot of twos. And then this squared is gonna distribute to each of these terms, giving us two, two squared, square root of two squared. Two squared is equal to four, and this square root and this square will cancel each other out. And two times four times two is equal to 16. Let's give it a label of unit squared and put a box around it. This is the answer to our question. The area of the question mark square is equal to 16 units squared. How exciting. I think this was a fun one. It took a lot of different geometry and algebra skills. And if you want to fine tune your geometry and algebra skills so you can solve problems like this one, Brilliant.org has you covered. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. I love going through these tricky geometry problems, but sometimes it's hard to know what to do next. It's no fun just getting stuck, but with Brilliant, you never get stuck. The interactive lessons are always in a logical order, and if you ever get stuck on a step, Brilliant has carefully crafted hints and explanations to help move you along. It really is a fun way to learn. There are courses on geometry, algebra, linear algebra, calculus, probability, all the fun math classes. They also have a ton of courses in the sciences, in programming, in artificial intelligence, data analysis, and many more. To try Brilliant for free, visit brilliant.org slash andymath or scan the QR code on the screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.